Now, our next presenter, Sarah, is going to experiment with ideas of how, how you can change perspective in a picture, but only part of the picture, not the entire thing. Take a look at this. Inception. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm here to talk about Perspective Warp, which is a new tool we're working on in the labs for editing perspective in photographs of man-made scenes. Here is a very old photograph. The perspective of the building on the right looks fine, but the old lens sends some wonky distortions, so the buildings are falling away on the left side. If I'm going to use an, an existing Photoshop tool like Transform Perspective um, to fix the problem, as you can see, the whole image gets warped, and the perspective of the building on the right also got modified. That's amazing, right? With the new approach called Perspective Warp, I can lay down a quad on the right side to lock the perspective of the building, and then lay down another quad for all the buildings on the left, and then fix the problem. Oh, my Whoa. God. <laughs> what the? That's ridiculous. That's amazing. As you can see, we're keeping everything the same on the right while we straighten the buildings on the left. So here is the original image. Here is the corrected image. Very good. Let hey. me show you another example. Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, you're doing great. Thank you. <laughs> Imagine you Sarah, wanted to. Sarah, Sarah, you're my favorite. <laughs> Imagine you wanted to change the 3D shape of the building and change the viewpoint from which you see this building. And let me try to use another existing tool called Pepper Warp to do this. Images like this contain lots of straight lines and planar surfaces, but the existing tool doesn't know it, so it turns wow. it into jello and everything bends. So with Perspective Warp, I can lay down a few parts like this um, to indicate different planes in the scene. So here I'm going to put down two quads for the two planes of the building. And when I grab the handle, I can change the 3D shape of the building and the perspective. So I can make it more wow. telephoto. Or I can make it more wide angle. And we are keeping all the straight lines straight and planar surfaces stay planar. Um, I can also move this vertical line to change the camera viewpoint. Um, so now we're looking at the building from the corner instead of off to the side. In a way, we are editing this building in a 3D consistent way without ever reconstructing a 3D model for the building. Wow. Sarah. Yes. Is there a Mr. Kong? <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you one last example. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Here's a layer stack, and I'm trying to composite Shut a buzz down. into this street scene. <laughs> it doesn't look very good because the perspective of the bus does not line up the perspective of the street scene. Its vanishing points should be the same, in the same place as the vanishing points of the buildings. So let me go ahead and use pers perspective warp and lay down a few rectangles, which give a simple box model for the bus. And when I grab the handles and eyeball it to line up all the vanishing points. It's cool. You don't seem very excited, so. Wow. Notice we haven't actually reconstructed this buzz in 3D, but simply knowing that roughly there are two planes like this allows us to correct perspective while keeping everything straight. So here is the original composite. 
Here is after perspective correction. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Thanks. Thank you, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. Let's, let's go on, Sarah.